Here we go. Here's my set of keys I'm going to use. So I've got like two of those and a car key. I've got this plastic and minions on it. It's hard to get into. Yeah, so I've got that. The classic form one. This, I've seen plenty of these around. They're made of cork, so it's a cork ball one. Key boy. So this apparently will, once it gets wet, some some inflates in it, and it will pop up to the surface. So what I'm doing is attaching some fishing line onto the keys. So then if I do, if they don't work, then I can pull my keys back up because I don't want to lose my keys because you know I need them. We're we going to try first this one. Here we go. Then let's test it out. Is this little plastic? minion what's it thing gonna work let's throw it in the water i'm not gonna throw it out too far because i've got to try and get it back let's see if it works yeah three two one i'll give it a minute just to see if it pops up yeah nothing's happening here didn't work well Try with just one. Just if we just had one car key on it. Right, let's try again with just one car key on it. Ah, yes, yeah. Look. So with one key, we're good. Next test. So the next one we're going to try out the Willet float bag is the form floaty. These are supposed to be quite good. It's very very light. So now, put all three keys back on, just to give it a try. Let's see if it works. One, two, three. That floats really well, does what it's supposed to do. Awesome. Not an issue, this one was really good. Oh. So the next one we're gonna try is Old Faithful Cork one, the old cork ball. Let's get this on the keys and see if it works. Got good oats for this one. Just press the cord on that. Right, three, two, one. Yeah, it's definitely floating. It's not as visible. Obviously, in this water, it's a bit murky. Visible as this one. This was really visible because of the colour. If you could paint it a high vis colour, but it's definitely working. It's definitely doing what it should do. So, let's see what's next. So now it's time to try the Keyboy. I've not looked at any reviews or anything, i just seen it and it sounded interesting that it like, auto inflates in the water. So I'm like, I've got to get one of these. I think they're just a one, one use only, so I think it was about eight pounds, something like that. So it is expensive for a one use thing. But I mean, if it works then it's definitely worth it because obviously replacing the set of keys you've lost, it's quite expensive. All right, let's get it open. Here it is. It's a very lightweight, see-through. You can see the stuff what's inside it. You can see like the fluorescent tube thing what's supposed to pop out. <laughs> Excited for this one. So I've got it all lined up, all ready to go. Looking forward to this one. So let's get the camera roll in, get it in a good spot. And three, two, one. So apparently it can take a couple of seconds to inflate. There's some bubbles going on, which I've not had before. Hopefully that's a good sign. Is bubbles a good sign? But I've not got my watch on. <gasps> I can see it. Can you see that? Let's try and zoom in a bit. Yeah, there. Yeah! <laughs> it's there. It did work. That's quality. It did pop up. Wow, look at that. That's fantastic. You, you know, you would easily be able to spot that if that was your uh, keys. 
<laughs> ah, it's making a fizzing sound. It must be some chemical reaction. If you've got a floating key ring or even a different device, please let me know. I'd love to check it out and see what else is available. And if you like my video, give us a thumbs up, give us a comment, give us a subscribe and yeah, you know, enjoy the rest of your day and check out my other videos. I've got some alright ones, I think. That's up to you to find out.